Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Mania Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Superstar Arcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage, and special episodes from Road and Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lee McLeese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring, and mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV Channel 77. And now here's the host of the show, live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Uh, thank you, Mr. Wonderful Announcer, sir. Well, hello there. This is your friendly neighborhood, sweet, bumbling, bofo raver. Presenting to you this channel vlog show. Now, I've appeared on four podcasts of the StreamYard, friend of the StreamYard community, expanded from the Discord, on the Discord family as well. Well, what are those shows? Well, the Bumbling Bozo's Variety Program join Yorio Ibarra, David St. Dennis, Psycho Mike Wilson, and Jeremy Dimitruk every Saturday night at 9 on the Ibarra Bros Studios YouTube channel. I've also appeared this year on an episode of Bofus on the Sofas. Join Garrison Newkirk, Jerome Latmer, and the Putin Brothers. Alex and Austin every Monday afternoon at 5 on the Mr. Garrison 96 YouTube channel. I'm also one of five panelists, regular panelists, on the Rent and Ray program podcast. Join the co-founders and co-creators of that show, Jordan Little and Brandon Martin. Also co-hosting besides me, alongside Uriel Ibarra and Michael Mombardi here every Thursday night at 8 on the Brandon Martin channel. And I'm also one of four panelists of the... Uh, Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. And the Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. Join Joseph Kumia Jr., Zach Zuniga, Jordan Little, and myself. We do NXT live reactions every Tuesday night at 8. And every, and we do a podcast every other Saturday night at 8 on the Elite JC TV YouTube channel. Almost a five time, five time, five time! Hey, you dig it, sucker! Bumbling Bozo's Bozy Awards nominee of 2021. Can I be a 2022 nominee for a Bozy Award? We'll see. We will just see. But this is uh, this is um, I am Eric Lima, your host. This is WEML TV Channel 77, Episode 1166 of the show, Sunday, April the 24th, 2022, 4:33 p.m. I'm on vacation, so. I'm going to be slacking a little bit behind a little bit. I haven't done a Joker's Wild thing yet or Saturday Super Star Gate. So I'm a little bit behind because sometimes life can re can really bowl you over and tire. I only fell asleep in church when the Bible hanging out. It was funny. My father had to wake me up. <laughs> it was too funny. I'm cracking everybody up here. <clears throat> Anyways, um, it's uh, 4.34 p.m. That's how late it is. Red Sox lost today, 5-2. Tampa Bay took 2 out of 3 against Boston. Kind of sucks. Boston's really getting hit with the offense pretty hard because, unfortunately, J.D. Martinez is hurt, so now we'll knock him out. We'll see what happens. The pitching, the bullpen, I don't know. Anyways, that's not what I want to talk about recently. I watched Impact Rebellion last night, and I got to say the uh, the uh, the video, everything was sound out of sync. I don't know what was wrong, but no matter what... <clears throat> No matter what happened, uh, I watched the event. There were two events that happened, and um, there were free events. Now, Jonathan Gresham, was supposed, the Ring of Honor World Champion, was supposed to face um, Eddie Edwards, but Jonathan Gresham could not make it probably because of the commitment to, to AEW. So, so instead, Eddie Edwards faced Chris Bay of the Bullet Club, 
And it's possibly Bullet Club and Honor No More probably be in the collision course. Bullet Club's feuding with everybody nowadays. They're feuding with people in AEW. They're feuding with people in New Japan. Now Impact Wrestling's Impact and Honor No More. And, uh, give me a second here, folks. This nose is bothering me. Yeah, sorry about that. Why do I have to pick up this New England weather? It keeps changing every single time we get colds. Could be the worst of all. Anyways, um, there were two matches that happened uh, before the Rebellion. Two free matches. Now, Jonathan Gresham was supposed to face Eddie Edwards on the main card, but Jonathan Gresham was not supposed to make it, so Eddie Edwards took on Chris Bay of the Bullet Club. Heck of a matchup overall, but Eddie Edwards ended up winning the matchup. Also, the Impact Knockouts tag team titles were on the line. In a rematch, the influence, that would be the team of, um, of Madison Rain in and uh, Tennille Dashwood, the champs, with no more Caleb with a K. He's gone. He decided to leave Impact. So, so in KFA, they fired him, and even the other team that are, uh, they're facing decided to shush him as well. The inspiration, uh, Jessica McKay, the lovely Jessica McKay, and the lovely Cassie Lee had their uh, tag team title match, uh, rematch, and, um, the influence did retain over the inspiration. With no help. So that's a good sign. Uh, a triple threat match to kick off Rebellion as Chris Saban uh, faced uh, uh, Jay White and Steve Macklin, who was the wild card. And in the end, it was a heck of a matchup, but in the end, Steve Macklin ended up picking up the victory. So, would that put him in line for a title shot? Hmm. For, for either the Impact World title or the X Division Championship. Well, we'll see. Uh, Josh Alexander was about to get ready for his matchup. I mean, he was talking with his lovely wife, Jen, and one of his sons, I believe, Jet. And uh, was there. And, you know, Jen was motivating him. Say, like, this is your shot. This is your chance. You know, being a lovely, loving, supporting wife. Now, Jen Alexander is formerly known as Jay Chung. She used to be a manager in Ring of Honor at one point. And I think she, uh, she met Josh Alexander a long way. They got married and had a couple of kids. And they've been a beautiful family. And, but Moose has made it personal be between the two of them, as far as uh, him and Josh Alexander, by Moose uh, sparing his wife, invading the home with the contract and all. And Scott T. Morris says, hey, you want to coach? Listen, keep your anger in check. You know, get, get that title away from Moose. And go out there and do it. And basically, Scott T. Morris is fully supporting uh, Josh Alexander. The uh, no champ champ ch open challenge this time, but the Reina Darlene's championship from AAA on the line. Deanna Perazzo defending against the returning Taya Valkyrie. Heck of a matchup once again. And then Taya Valkyrie ended up winning the match and is the new AAA Reina Darlene's championship champion for a fourth time. So congratulations to Miss Taya Valkyrie. And Gia Miller talked about the uh, interview Tasha Steele's about the. Uh, uh, about her, her title defense, and Tasha's determined to uh, defeat Rosemary and retain her championship. And uh, the X Division t uh, title is on the line. Triple Threat: Trey Miguel versus Ace Austin and Speedball Mike Bailey. Another one, uh, heck of a matchup, and uh, heck of a matchup. But uh, Ace Austin ends up winning the X Division title for a second time, I do believe. So congratulations to Ace Austin, the inevitable. Will that be mean child between Mike Bailey and Ace Austin? Could be. So, on and more cut a promo about their uh, elimination tag team championship matchup. And uh, Eddie Edwards got the said he's got the ball rolling by defeating Chris Bay. They want to keep the momentum going um, that night. EGV is coming. So we don't know who this EGV is. It a group? You know, is it a group? Is it a clique? Is it somebody else? You know, rumor has a Sammy Callahan maybe heading this group. I don't know. Is EGV coming soon? We'll, we'll find out who that is in in, in due time. Uh, Jonah took on Tomohiro Ishii in a battle of big dudes one on one, and uh, Ishii in a great matchup picked up the victory over Mr. Jonah. And the eight team elimination for the tag team titles. We know uh, VBD and the Good Brothers. Are def are in the match of VD are defending the champions. And uh, who other team will involved? Well, the major players decide to get involved in this. They are former uh, WWE World Tag Team Champions, 
so they have an opportunity to capture the Impact World Tag Team Champions. But then, <clears throat> hey, were the first ones in there. Uh, Jordan Grace and W. Morrissey were the unlikely team, a very shocking team that would have made history by the first male-female combo to win the belts. But uh, major players end up eliminating uh, Grace and Morrissey. It got to the point where Morrissey ended up powerbombing Chelsea Green to a table. I think Morrissey's getting got some serious payback on Matt Cardona. I'll tell you one thing right now. <clears throat> it will not be good for W. Morrissey once Matt Cardona and Brian Myers gets his hands on him. But my eye digress. Then the good brothers follow suit. They were dominating until <clears throat> they were dominating. Uh Johnny Swinger and Dick and Zicky Dice. Um, got themselves involved in uh, in that matchup, and but they got two got eliminated. Which Swan and Willie Mack, we knew these two guys wouldn't be going after those tag team titles. Good brothers dispense of them. But then Honor No More just had to play a little bit of mind games a little bit. And when Honor No More came out, it was Vincent and Kenny King, but they got blindsided by Matt Taven and Mike Bennett. And, uh, but then Taven and Matt, Mike Bennett got eliminated. Then Heath and Rhino, former SmackDown Tag Team Champions, got, in themselves, got in the matchup. And then VBD. It was between, between down to Heath and Rhino and VBD. Violent by design. And it looks like Joe Doring and Eric Young did end up winning the matchup. And uh, keeping the titles. Both competitors for the main event, Josh Alexander and Moose, prepared for their main event. The knockouts title was on the line. Tasha Steele's defending it against Rosemary. And Tasha Steeles ended up retaining her title. The Impact World title, Moose, Josh Alexander, they went at it. And uh, they went at it. They made it personal. They just went. But in the end, after the C4 spike, Josh Alexander is now finally the new Impact World Champion for a second time. But this time, hopefully, this reign is a lot longer. No more anybody cashing in their call, their shot, trophies, and all that good stuff. And, and his wife Jen and her and his son Jet, Jet climbed the ropes and a lot you know surprised a lot of parents. But it was a special moment for for the family for the Alexander family. So, Josh Alexander, congratulations! Finally, you did. I was hoping you would. Oh, you would beat you would beat that big goofball that sounds like Cindy Brady. Okay, so finally, Josh Alexander will be a champion that Impact will be proud of, and I'm sure he'll defend the title against anybody. I wouldn't be surprised if Eddie Edwards decided to step up and say, hey, I want to shot the title. We'll see what happens in that matchup. So, congratulations to all the uh, winners, the new champions, indeed, and still remain champions. We'll see what happens this Impact Thursday night. As you know, I'm on vacation this week from work, so I'm going to be able to bring you all the content. But like I said, once the, the, the letting in the house starts, it'll be... Um, I my uh, time on the internet will be limited as a result because I don't know how strong the Wi-Fi will be from outside the house. So it's something you know, unless I get lucky, um, some things have you know some loophole. Must I find a loophole and something like that? And uh, like I said, I'm not going to be able to do much the next two to three weeks. So like I said, it's going to be uh, going to be very difficult for me to communicate with people, especially doing the podcast shows. I'm not going to be able to do on those podcast shows from now. And I just like it's not a mental break thing, even though it it could it could give me an opportunity to do that as well. But I will try to um, do a special segment, and you know, no fanfare, no nothing, no uh, you, you know, no thumbnails, no no much. It's just like um, thoughts out, you know, more like thoughts away, you know, from the house and all that good stuff. I'll, I'll come up with a title, uh, just you know, just for like a bridge, probably a bridge up from. The end of the third season of WEML TV Channel 77 into Eric Lehman shenanigans in 1977. Uh, like I said, it's my, I got a lot more stuff to go to bring up to my new room. I'm going to try to. I'm trying to do as best I can with it and what I got. So uh, just be patient, hang in there, because I'll tell you one thing. Once I'll tell you one thing. I think the summer season when it starts, the new season start. I'm we, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be a huge opportunity for me. Uh, and it'll be a great thing, and trust me, it'll be a whole lot of fun. So, that's all the time we have on this show. Episode 1166 of WEML TV Channel 77 is complete. 
Impact Rebellion 20, 2022 Event Center is complete. And uh, I will see you on the next episode of the show. I'm probably going to do a little bit of Joker's Wild. And that's what I'm going to do because today's Sunday, Slot Machine Sunday. All right? So, I wish you all the peace in your lives, love, and the blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ from Him above to me, uh, to me, and from me to you. All right? I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.